going on, Jerome. So overall, it's been a bit of a frustrating season for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, battling injuries and woulda, coulda, shoulda, and it's it's tough, man, because it's frustrating going back and looking at the schedule. Should have take care, should have taken care of things at home against the Bucks, but you turned it turned the ball over last game. You I gave you my heart, and then you gave it away. Hmm. Uh, Eagles game, just the fumbles were not good. The Madison fumble, JJ fumbling out of the end zone, and the Vikings they had a shot to come back at the end. Didn't happen. Chargers, Hawkinson with the fumble, Hawkinson with the drop at the end, a Caleb Evans with the dropped interception that turned into a Josh Palmer touchdown. Not that I, I still remember and still bitter. Uh, against the Chiefs, uh, the no call, no shows at the end of the game. The Vikings have the same officiating crew against the Lions, by the way. What could go wrong? As well as you know, Madison dropping that screen pass that would have been a walk-in touchdown. Mm. Uh, and then the Broncos game, uh, dirty Kareem Jackson taking that hit on Dobbs. He wasn't right after that. Uh, um, uh, Kevin O'Connell settling for field goals when you should have gone for the jugular uh, the defense giving up one touchdown in 12 quarters and that was the one mm. the Bears game was the worst offensive game plan I've ever seen Kevin O'Connell shat himself at the end uh, with play calling and then the Bengals game that we just saw all right so it, it's been uber frustrating this season that the Vikings are seven and seven you can make a compelling case that the Vikings should have won each of the games that they lost and at minimum should be I don't know what 10 and 4 11 and 3 possibly but I understand. It's easy to get frustrated. Kevin O'Connell been sort of whatever, but he has earned himself some a little bit of leeway and a scholarship since uh, he's changing the culture. That takes time, and also thirteen and four last year. Da 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 da. But uh, and also injuries play a part in it too. But are are you are you ready to get really frustrated? Are you ready to get, go completely over the top? Because anecdotally, we thought to ourselves, hmm. All these losses were by one score, and like that's got that's is that an anomaly or is that something that is legit? Turns out the Vikings and the Ravens are the only teams in the league that have not lost a game by multiple scores. All right, so the the Vikings and the Ravens, who the Ravens are the one seed in the AFC, are the only teams in the league who have not gotten their asses kicked, which is just so frustrating. So uh, the 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 hot shots in the NFC allegedly the Lions. Hey, how how did uh, how did that game against Baltimore? Speaking of, work out. How about that? Or how'd you lose by fifteen to the Bears, bro? Mm. Also, the the other game against the Bears. How how were you down by twelve or four minutes to go? Mm. Uh, the Niners got their asses kicked by the Bengals and the Vikings. By the way. No, no big deal. Uh, Cowboys got starched when they went out and played San Francisco. They got starched on the road against Buffalo last weekend. Uh, the Niners uh, put the bang thing on the Eagles, and then the Eagles got destroyed by the Cowboys. I mean, the Eagles are just fraudulent. I get, that's why that Week 2 loss is uh, super frustrating. And, of course, the Vikings, boo, taking it to the Packers, taking it to the streets. So, uh, Again, in the grand scheme of things, l looking at the, the NFC playoffs, the fact that the Vikings have not lost a single game by more than multiple scores when San Francisco has gotten destroyed. Uh, well, not destroyed, but they got beat by multi by 14. Dallas has been destroyed. Detroit's definitely been destroyed. Same thing with the Bucks. Same thing with uh, the Eagles. It's just it, – it just makes you so – frustrated like all of those close games that that happened man and also looking at the margin of loss for the last last three losses now remember you know margin of victory point differential that just became a, a fancy thing last year is like oh the Vikings win these games but they're not winning by much duh, duh, duh. as opposed to what you are what your record says you are that they go to that so now hey Point differential matters. So now we're going to play by your rules and go from here. So margin of loss in the last three losses. The Niners, 21 points. Uh, the Eagles, 46 points. The Lions, 54 points. The Cowboys, 58 points. The Vikings' last three losses against the Broncos, the Bears, and um, you know, the Bengals, six. 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 And... Uh, again, w would you have traded some of these close losses for ass kickings uh, if it, it got your uh, head out of your ass and you got some more things done and you were ten and four or nine and five as opposed to seven and seven? Sure, maybe, but also that that's not how it works. And uh, again, the Vikings, even with all the injuries, even with all the turnovers, even in spite of themselves, have been in every single one of these games. I mean, there hasn't been a spot where things really got out of control. You could say maybe the start of the second half against the Eagles uh, when, when they pulled away for a hot second, uh, but then Kirk Cousins and company clawed their way back in, got within one score, yes. But 
it's tough. It, it is so tough because, uh, yes, the Vikings have all the built-in excuses in the world, all the turnovers, all the injuries, all everything. But the fact that they're still on the cusp sh- should give you a little bit of cause for pause. And also, the Vikings are at home the next two games against the Lions and the Packers, divisional foes. And Flores has a very good track record against Jared Goof in their last two meetings. And I think the Vikings get it done. And it's going to change the narrative all over again. And the Lions, uh, yeah, hey, hey, congratulations. You, you beat the Broncos uh, at home cool last Saturday but hey bring that bang thing the Vikings will beat the Packers who are for rods Joe Barry might be the worst D coordinator in the league and then the Lions are going to lose on the road week 17 against the Cowboys and week 18 will be for the NFC Norris division that's all man so again the season has been uber frustrating because all the Vikings losses should have easily been wins and that's the whole thing there's no excuses like next man up just Take care of your business. The fact that the Vikings have been in every single one of these games, uh, hopefully they'll, they'll find ways to start, start turning these close losses into close wins. And now is the perfect time to start doing that. Seven wins in a row for Mike Yo. Can we do that? I think we certainly can. Hmm. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, the Vikings are the only team, besides the Ravens, well, only team in the NFC who hasn't gotten the asses kicked. Hmm. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.